Brighton here, set the pace for Athlon.com, bringing to you another course recon to get you ready. Um, I'm doing the race as of recording. We are about a week away for Iron, Ironman Florida 2021. I am signed up. I will be there racing it with you. And we're going to go over a little bit of information about the course. I posted, the course has changed a little bit over the years. Uh, I posted reviews on the course for the, the bike and the run. Um, they're pretty similar for the most part. Um, kind of flat and both kind of dealing with the same elements and everything so those may be a little bit different but the swim course I mean, still in the ocean still to the course it's nothing really crazy so we're going to talk about Ironman Florida swim real quick and give you my insights on what I think will help you out the most again see in the background here you go to the Ironman Florida specific website going on course going on swim goes shows you the course map and then it's in the athlete guide, so it's there if you print that off, or you can just print it off separately, or just look at it and be good to go. Because basically, it's going to be one big rectangle, and you swim it twice. So note the transition area in that front beach road. So notice this is a start around the beach. And then you actually start. <laughs> Let me take that. That's a finish line, checker flag. The green spot over here is your start. So you come out here, you swim, 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 come out here, and then you start your second loop, swim, swim, swim. Uh, notice this is kind of nice. I've done the race in 2017. I did in 2018 when it moved to Haines City because of the hurricane. Uh, but I'm coming back for 2021. And notice it goes around this pier. So that's kind of nice for spectators to come out and watch people do the swim. Um, so it'll be kind of nice and interesting. But um, notice it's just one big rectangle. Like I said, it's going out to the ocean and swimming back from the ocean and then doing it twice. So you do get a little respite when you come out of the water. Um, you'll be able to run the beach a little bit a little to maybe catch your wind. I think they sometimes they have a little table of water if you want to get a drink and wash out the salt water and then hit the swim. Um, so in reality, it's not huge or crazy or anything like that, uh, but it is an ocean swim. So there are a few things to watch out for. Uh, number one, the sun is rising in the east. So if you breathe and you can only breathe out of your left side, you're going to be facing the sun when you're swimming out there. Um, if it's cloudy, you'll be okay. Um, usually the first loop, uh, the sun's just rising, so it won't be a big problem. Uh, maybe on that second loop, you know, the sun will kind of be in your face. So tinted goggles maybe, or hopefully even like most athletes, I try to encourage you to be able to breathe on both sides. Um, so make sure that you either have tinted goggles and you're okay with the sun because the buoys are going to be on your right. So if you want to breathe out of your left, you're going to have kind of a tough time to be able to see the buoys and you're going to have to do a lot of extra sighting. So just be aware of that. Um, it is, like I said, the ocean. Uh, so you're going to probably be dealing with currents. You're going to be dealing with waves a little bit more than your typical um, kind of open body of water, like a lake or a pond or anything else you might be doing swims in or even a river swim. Um, when I did in 2017, it really wasn't. There were some waves coming in, but it was some nice rollers. It wasn't crazy. It wasn't wild. There's was no white caps. Uh, it was really nice coming in because it just kind of pushed you in. Going out, it really wasn't bad either because, I mean, like I said, I mean, it wasn't super high waves. You get a little bit higher on the, on the um, reach phase of the stroke there to get over the little bitty waves or whatever. Um, there's more current being created by the jet skis and the boats, you know, for safety, driving around, uh, watching people. And there's going to be kayaks and stuff out there too to be holding, holding on to if you need that. But really, hopefully you've uh, gotten some um, good, I, I posted videos on, you know, open water, choppy water, rough water swimming, and tactics you can use in your training to get ready for it. If you're watching this video now with me, a week to get ready probably isn't going to be enough, but in the future, if you're doing this race, definitely want to go out there in the pools. If you're doing most of your swimming in the pool is, you know, these buoys, paddles, uh, fins, and other things kind of build up some strength. So when you get out there in open water, um, it's not the big of a deal. So uh, definitely want to use tinted goggles. Uh, the water typically is going to be wetsuit legal. Uh, I think there's only been two years. One year they canceled the swim because it was cold and windy and nasty. They went ahead and did the rest of the race, so it was a little cold. And then one year I think there was the, the waves were just too strong. Um, there's too much going on. So they can't. They, well, no, actually, I take that back. So the year they canceled, it was, it was too strong waves and everything. And then one year the water was too warm. It was a wetsuit option. Bring your wetsuit. I go full sleeve. Um, I, I'm always cold anyway. Rarely do I get overheated especially even then uh, Ironman distance swims. I always like the full sleeve. Um, you're going to be helped a little bit by the, the wetsuit if it's legal or if it's optional and you, you choose to use it. But salt water also makes you a little bit more buoyant, so you'll have a little bit of extra buoyancy added in from the salt water. So I'm bringing my full wetsuit. 
I'm bringing my speed suit just in case it's not a wetsuit, uh, uh, wetsuit legal, it's wetsuit optional. I still like to like count for age group awards, all world athlete status, all that stuff. So I make sure that uh, I have the right uh, swim apparel <clears throat> to uphold that. And, and basically, um, that's going to be kind of the nuts and bolts of, am I going to need a wetsuit? I say bring one. Um, always count on it, especially November 6th, um, 7th. You know, that time frame, you're, the water should be pretty cool off by then. So I think that's a pretty high chance is going to be wetsuit uh, legal. So bring that. Uh, I don't think you'll need a neoprene swim cap. It's not going to be that cold and give you booze or anything like that. So I wouldn't really worry about that kind of stuff. Um, what I will say is if you haven't swam in salt water, it's a little bit different because when you take in water, and you will, when you're out there swimming in open water, um, it doesn't sit well necessarily. It doesn't taste good. And it doesn't sit well in my stomach. So I usually pop a Pepto tab right before the swim just to coat my stomach a little bit. So when you're inhaling some of that water as you're swimming along, it doesn't sit in my stomach and gurgle around and stuff. Definitely, if you've never tried that before, don't try it on race day. But uh, perhaps maybe try to get a swim in before the race. I think the beach is open to anybody. So you can go out there and swim if you want. Maybe pop a Pepto tab and see if it kind of helps you out and see if it causes any problems or anything like that. Um, again, this is just for me. I know it works for me. I've done it several times before. So if you're kind of nervous about it and don't think it's the best idea for you, then don't do it. Um, just a suggestion. Just be aware that that salt water um, gets in your stomach and it could cause you a little bit of problems, make you a little bit extra gassier than usual. Uh, I know if you're inhaling water and air and stuff like that on the swim, you usually get off and start to bike ride, you're burping a little bit and have other problems. Salt water kind of exacerbates that, at least for me. So just be ready for that. It's a little bit different than your typical open water swim or Ironman race, you know, whether it be a river swim or a pond or, or a lake or something like that. It's a little bit different when you're out here in the ocean. So that's going to be the key, big key factors. You're going to have waves and you're going to be in salt water. Uh, two different things, especially I live in Kansas City. I don't get exposed to that often. You got some waves in open water, but really nothing really to write home about. This is going to be a different animal when you get out there. I've seen some swims for Ironman Florida where the waves were two to three feet high coming in and you had to fight them to get out into the water, uh, into the more open area to get away from the waves and the surf. So just be ready for that. Um, it could be windy. It could be the surf could be up. So, you know, unless it's it's there's a rip current or something dangerous going on, they're still going to have the swim. So just be ready for that. Um, it could be uh, right now the weather looks pretty calm. It doesn't look really windy. It doesn't look stormy. Um, it's in the 70s, maybe like a 20% chance of rain. And hopefully you can still see me. My camera is acting up, uh, but I think you can still hear me. So just be ready for that. Uh, it could be a little wild out there. But typically, uh, most of the time, the swim line in Florida is pretty uneventful, which is good. Uh, you get out there and have a good time. So basically, that's kind of it. You know, tinted goggles, um, bring a wetsuit, bring a speed suit. Uh, be ready for salt water uh, and be ready for some waves or a little bit choppy water out there. So hopefully this helps you out. Give it a like if you're watching on Facebook. If there's comments or anything, put them in the comments. I'll get back to them follow up later. If you see them on YouTube, give it a like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification button. Uh, I'll be doing other videos on Ironman Florida as we run into race day. So hopefully this helps you out. Good luck and we'll see you on race day.